Richard Nixon's era. He's with the Nixon Library, which you should all visit, whatever you think of Richard Nixon. It is a wonderful presidential library. I've been there many, many times. And what is your role at the Nixon Library? I am the president and CEO and a member of the board and the general counsel, and I clean up after people who come. I have leave Cheeto wrappers around. I, yeah, Dennis, can I, I, before I run out of space, i got to tell you, I'm so astonished by the number of people who have visited PragerU to watch the Nixon video. In one day, a million people. Because during the break, I was reading about Amazon's purchase of MGM, uh, announced this morning for $8.5 billion, and they're doing that to get eyeballs. And everybody competes for viewers. And I think to myself, if they got a show to be watched, you know, a million people at PragerU yesterday is more than watched all of CNN yesterday. And so it's just (laughs) astonishing what you've done. And someday, I know you're not for profit. I want to thank all the people who donate to keep PragerU going because it matters to the future of the country. And and people should and ought to include Prager University in their giving, and they ought to plan for them in their estates. They got to do all that stuff because if it's worth doing now, it's worth doing for the next 50 years. But I am amazed that Netflix or Amazon or IT, you know, Apple TV hasn't approached you to run a Prager channel uh, you know, or a Prager program. Has that happened yet? <laughs> uh, it's hard to imagine it happening. Uh, the, uh, Netflix would not even stream No Safe Spaces because I was in it with Adam Carolla. You're not serious. I'm totally serious. Netflix is as corrupt as the rest of them. That's nuts. I mean, just from a, a value know. perspective, from but, the but uh, I, true believers don't care about money. Leftism that, is a religion. Would 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 a would a Catholic change his view on abortion for a, a, a sum of money? No. Would no. A, would a, would a no. leftist to change for a sum of money? No. Yes. Yeah. This is where we disagree. I always think money will drive. Eventually, will drive then the creation of an alternative network like Fox ought to have the Prager show running six videos in a half hour every day even if they only run it at, at after prime time or before prime time they ought to have the Prager video show because that's an astonishing audience yep. you know that and you do it happens every time right that's every right. time you put oh, up every a Prager time, you... every, exactly and uh, I mean even my podcast the fireside chat is three quarters of a million min- minimum each week and they don't even know about your ornithology, Jones. My ornithology what? Well, I understand you just got back from chasing the Russian rare green shot. Yes. Around. How did, I didn't know you knew that. That is correct. In well, fact, I know. I have there is a new bird. It's, it's called the, the Prager hawk. No, it's the Russian rare green shank. I read all about it. I, I, there's a Prager uh, uh, What's Dennis Up To website that I keep track of. I what would you're like doing, to announce to the public, there is no colleague of mine that can stay serious with me for more than 10 minutes. It, it is not possible. <laughs> I, bring, I bring out the absurd in virtually everyone I talk to. <laughs> that, that will be how I am remembered. <laughs> well, then people will remember you fondly. Yes, and, and, I agree with you. Yeah, I, I have uh, no problem with that. You make people happy. It's the By the way, part y- you. you don't know, I actually did, uh, either this week or last week, I actually broadcast a story about how the American Ornithological Association is dropping all of the names of birds because a lot of the names belong to white supremacists. I did not hear that story, yes, yes. but you know, I I'm not surprised. I'll tell you why the the battle commission or the the base renaming commission, of which I approve, by the way. I don't believe bases should be named for some of these Confederate uh, uh, generals like Fort Hood, et cetera. But they are going to rename the destroyer the Antietam, or at least they're talking about it. The Antietam was a Union victory. <laughs> I don't understand that. That's right. I don't understand it. I don't either. It doesn't make it's it's sort of uh, it's not it's beyond Orwellian. It's gone into a sort of right. madness that cycles and spirals, which is why I think you know, isn't that part of the success of Prager? Is that enough people not Prager Dennis, but Prager? No, I know you, we understood. Yeah, yeah. That that they they just need to go somewhere to actually get a baseline of facts. That's what I did the Watergate video for, just give people a baseline right. context for yes. things. 
Do you know with all the attack pieces on us, when it's now approaching 500 videos, they cannot cite one line in one video to condemn PragerU. That's how seriously uh, we take the task of being truthful and being sober. And people. But when did you when did you ever become a lightning rod? I mean, I've been on the road with you for 30 years, doing events, and we've done 100 shows, 200, 500 shows together. You've never said anything remotely controversial, other than you are a political conservative and a and a man of the right. But so is Edmund Burke. I mean, so is Clarence Thomas. So is is every great conservative. Why do they not like Dennis Prager now? Are you actually being canceled? Yes. There are even just Prager you, not just me. But do you don't know the great story of when I testified in the Senate? Oh, uh, I saw that. I played that. But I, <laughs> I, I thought that was a one-off, a one-video No, video no, no, no. There, there are at least 100 Prager U videos that are still on, on the restricted list. If you, if you filter out pornography and violence, you cannot see those particular videos. And if you look at the list, not one belongs on it. And we're shadow banned. Oh, it's a very serious uh, problem for us and for all, for all conservative media. Well, then you'll like Ron DeSantis. I'm at the Republican Governors Association today and tomorrow broadcasting in Nashville. And Governor DeSantis will be here. And he signed a law prohibiting uh, political points of view in common carrier platforms, which I will applaud. It's probably not constitutional. I will applaud if they expand it even more to provide that it doesn't just govern political speech, because that's where it's going to have a, a First Amendment failure. But, but you began to ask me about Nixon, and I think maybe the animus against Dennis Prager is not unrelated to the animus against Richard Nixon in the media, which is if you take on uh, sacred cows, the cows never forget. And Nixon took on Hiss, exposed Hiss as a communist, and the Eastern establishment never forgot and never forgave. Alger Hiss was their fair-haired boy. And the Eastern establishment is, of course, Manhattan Beltway media elite, as fueled by Harvard, Yale, and the other Ivies into their little cloistered village of influence that is Manhattan and, and Beltway bound. Uh, and now they've got annexes in Silicon Valley and, and Hollywood. But I don't even think this is disputable anymore, Dennis. That's right, it isn't. Hey, listen, we'll do a part two. You're terrific, and the video is terrific. Great to well, talk to you. Well, Prager, you is terrific. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. We're going to use some of his comments uh, for fundraising. <laughs> I, I didn't expect a word about it, uh, my dear friends, to be honest. But you will learn a lot on the Watergate video by Hugh Hewitt at PragerU.